The, I need to ask you about this, just the events these last two weeks or so. Yeah. Are we done? Like, are, 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 we, are we past the worst? Or, or do you feel like things get a little bit worse before they get eventually better, hopefully? I, I, I hope we're through the worst. Uh, I, mean, I think there's still some, some, uh, some questions around business models uh, around the world. Is, mm. is, are, have there been weaknesses that have been exposed in the business models of, of any of the, of the companies that have had trouble that need to be addressed at this point? Um, but it, it certainly seems that the acute phase of, of the crisis is done. Mm. The, a lot of this comes down to, I was listening to the panel that you just came mm. from, of course. There's one, one part is liquidity mm. issues, right? Uh, and the other part is confidence, yeah. uh, really. And that's really how you stitch together what happened in the U.S. Yeah. to what took place in Switzerland, of course. Have you heard enough from regulators to be able to address, uh, do you think they've done enough to sort of bolster confidence at this point in time? I, I think regulators have taken extraordinary steps, uh, first in the U.S. and then obviously subsequently in Switzerland, mm. uh, to, to, to make sure that the banking system stayed safe while individual banks had had their troubles. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll all be reflecting on what could we have done to prevent this, because right. you, you never want to get to the point where you have to take the actions that the, that the Fed and the FDIC took uh, in the U.S. or that the, the regulators in, in, in Switzerland took. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get there in the first place. Mm -hmm. But once there, I, there were relatively few choices, and I think they pulled out the big guns, and they calmed markets. And that's, at, at that particular point, that's the critical thing, and I think they succeeded. Uh, one of the sort of side effects we've seen is, is this sort of almost transfer of, of I would say, well, transfer of deposits from the smaller lenders into the big ones. And I would imagine, of course, we would consider you as one of the big ones. Mm. Have you seen, seen any of that these last uh, few weeks or so? Have you seen a lot of inflows, whether that's client to funds or just clients themselves, client accounts? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we were very well uh, capitalized going into this period of, mm. of turmoil. I'm obviously not expecting the turmoil itself, but, but we're very well and very liquid. And we've had it, you know, we mm. have an extremely liquid balance sheet and ha have had for years. Uh, so I, I, I don't think it's appropriate for any of us to say that we benefited from this because overall I don't think right. we, any of us had benefited. Mm. Uh, but in, in, in terms of the, the resilience of our business, it's, it's been evident and of course that's a good thing. Mm. Uh, when the markets are trying to figure out whether we're past this, so they, they look at things for example, we got the data from I think it was the Fed a couple of hours ago. The, another week of banks in the U.S. at least tapping the discount window, that's yep. one. You're seeing credit default swaps still on the way up. Yep. I mean, should these things still concern us, or are these still remnants that eventually you think go away? I think we, I've got the, I think we have the flow through from, from, the, from the acute phase of the crisis. So, mm. you know, we, we saw the Fed uh, hiked 25 basis points. Uh, the market not too long ago had been thinking 50 basis points. Mm. Uh, it, it would seem to be a nod, and in fact, in fact, it was at least in part a nod to financial conditions. And uh, which means that the Fed is, is, is fighting two different fights that, that may be conflicting with, with financial condition management on the one hand and inflation mm. on the other. Uh, sustained higher inflation is not a good thing for any of us, right? Mm. I mean, we, we want inflation to be back under control. So I think, I think that the, the, the Fed has a particular challenge in, in now managing two reasonably pressing uh, challenges mm. that are coming at them. Uh, I think they're striking the right balance, but there will be implications. Right? The, the, the implication will be, uh, on the assumption that this, this financial turmoil doesn't flow through to the real economy, and that's mm. a big question. I mean, are we going to lose, is there going to be a real economy impact in the U.S. or in Switzerland or elsewhere in the world as mm. a result of, of the failure and seizure of these banks, uh, or the, the challenges to business models for other banks? Um, short order, it would appear to be no. Mm. Uh, Longer term, it could be if the market is deprived of some uh, lending capital that, would, that, that, that can't be replaced by other banks or by capital markets. Mm. Now, I suspect that it will all be replaced by banks and capital markets, but we'll see. The, and that takes us into some of the lessons, perhaps the lessons for potentially, hopefully, we're going to learn from this. Are there business models out there that you think are just not sustainable, given, of course, hindsight, but given what we know right now? We need to revisit some of these things, for example. And maybe also from a regulatory perspective, is there a role there, too, for new regulation? Or I, wouldn't, I wouldn't generalize about, about business models that, that are not sustainable. I, I think there are some, some uh, truisms in banking uh, on which we have to reflect. Uh, okay. You've got to keep your, your deposit base diversified, and uh, you've got to keep your balance sheet liquid. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, it's a truism in banking. Um, and, uh, of course, in the age of, of social media and, and you know, bank runs by Twitter or whatever the, the, you know, mm -hmm. the phrases are that, that get used, um, we have to reflect on, on whether we've all really accomplished everything that we know we must accomplish. And 
Um, I feel very confident that Senator Tartar has, has done the right thing and is in the right place. Mm. I think most banks are. There may be some that need to adjust their mm. business models. And I'm sure those are in the process of being adjusted. And the uh, regulators and central banks have given the market time to adjust those business models by putting, taking some pretty extraordinary steps mm. uh, with, you know, with, with deposit guarantees and, and, uh, and extraordinary liquidity facilities and things like that.